All right, this is a video doing a breakdown of what we were talking about on how to use the brush tool in PhotoP. So in this, we're gonna be talking about how to change the brush, change the size of the brush, and also how to uh, create new layers and why you might want to draw on one layer versus the other. Um, so uh, looking, looking at all those things, how to change the color, how to create a layer, and how to change the brush, right? Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up PhotoP.com. Now, on some of these, I've given you a file to use, but on this one, we're going to just use uh, create a new project. All right, so you go to photop.com, create new project, and we're going to do this. I want just a big square document that I can mess with, so we're going to leave, we're going to change the name here to brush. It's a good habit to get in to always name your files before you get started. Um, and so then, well, the width is 1280. We're going to make the height 1280. All right, that'll just give us a nice big square document. We're going to leave our artboard as white and hit create. So, paintbrush tool, pretty simple over here to the side. Um, one of the examples that I used earlier is if you are painting, I've had this problem before, if you are painting, and right now I've got my paintbrush selected and I'm painting, why is it not showing up? Well, if you're painting with a white paintbrush like I was when I was doing this yesterday, then it's not going to show up, even though you can see over here in my history panel that I am using the brush tool but it's painting white on white, so there's nothing happening, right? So make sure if we go over, the first thing we want to do is change our color to what we want. So if I go down here and, and just single click, not double click, single click on that, I get this icon that pops up. Now, you can put it in an exact value here if you want to, um, but we're just going to, you can use one of these default colors here. That's fine too. Um, but I'm going to, let's do, we can move our cursor around. You can change where you are on the spec. Let's do something like that. That's good. All right, and I hit OK. So now I can see with my paintbrush being that orange color, so when I paint, it paints with that color. All right? Um, and if you've not watched the video about how to zoom in and out, what I'm doing here is I'm holding down Alt and scrolling down to scroll out and scrolling up to, scroll, to zoom in. And if you hold down Spacebar, you can move around. So you'll see me do that a lot in this document. Okay? So that's how I can paint. I got my paintbrush, and I can just draw wavy lines like that. Now, in Illustrator... I would be able to select these and change the color, change the size, change the anchor points, a lot of different things. In this and in, in Photoshop, it's just a painting. And if I zoom in, you can see the pixels, right? So this is not something that I can select. It is just something that has been drawn on this layer. So if I tried to go in and use my uh, selection tool to move this, it's not going to let me do that, right? Um, it's not letting me do it because this is locked, but also it's not letting me do it. That's what it would do. Right? It would just move the whole thing. It's like, oh, you're talking about this entire layer. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to go Control Z to go back because I just want one of these on here. So that is how you use the paintbrush tool. You're going you're gonna to create using the paintbrush tool, and we just draw like that. Easy breezy. Right? Change the color just like we have in other things too. Not that complicated. Now, here's where it starts getting a little different. Um, you can also change, and if you don't see this icon up at the top left, and the top on the toolbar here, keep in mind that's only going to show up if you have the paintbrush tool selected. So if I go over here in my move tool, now I have that auto select, transform controls, all that stuff that we had before. All right, but if I go to my paintbrush tool, now these options change. All right, so I can go and click on this one right here that's just below the edit button, and I can have a bunch of different brushes that I can use. And if you think about it, if you're a painter and you're painting something, all right, you're not just having one paintbrush, right? You might have one that you use a lot, but depending on what type of detail or what type of, you know, happy trees and, and, and birds that you're trying to paint, um, then you would have different brushes that give you different effects, all right? Same is true in this. Um, so you, you can have, you know, a wide brush or you can have a, a, a very narrow brush. And even within those sizes, you can have, even within those different styles of brushes, you're also going to have a variety of sizes, okay? So um, if I go to, say, this one here, this is soft mechanical, 24 pixels. And so if I start painting with this, uh, I have to select a layer first. There we go. If I start painting with this, and I'm just going to kind of do a similar thing. All right, exact same color, exact same color, um, exact same size, but a different design, right? When we zoom in here, you can see how it kind of fades out. It kind of feathers out a little bit. Um, as opposed to the regular one that we did, which is more of like a spot color, all right? Um, so that's one option, and then you've got other things that you can do. Let's go ahead and do something like this one. This one 
you really can't see that. Honestly, that looks very similar to the other one, right? I don't really see a big difference. It's smaller. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to show you how to change your size because this one looks a lot different when you change your size. The way that I do it, the shortcut for this, is to do um, right next to the letter P, there's a bracket, all right? And it's like the mustache thing, and it's also got the little, the little bracket like that. Okay, so right next to the letter P, just to the right of it, you can press to the right or the left. And if I press to the left, it gets smaller. If I press to the right, it gets bigger. All right, so now that this is a little bit bigger, I can see that is a different brush. This is the exact same thing that I was using with that smaller one, that third line that I did. Okay, but this is... Um, a different brush. This is large. I mean, this is the same brush as what I did on the third one, but this is a larger size of that brush. All right. So you could either do this using the shortcut key to make it bigger or smaller, or you also, when you go up in that same panel, you have an option here to change the size. So I can make it as big, and you can see how how big it is, or I can make it a lot smaller. All right. And you've got different options, different things you can do. All right. And 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 depending on what you're trying to create those different brushes will do different things for you, all right? And then just like we did before, I can also change my color to something different. Let's change it to this blue, War Eagle, all right? And so now I'm painting, but this is not gonna change my previous colors. If I was an illustrator, I could select my previous thing that I've drawn and change the color, all right? This is just making my new color, the, new, the next thing that I paint is gonna be a different color, all right? So uh, I'm gonna do, so that is how to uh, change the color, that is how to change the size and the style of the brush, okay? The last thing that we need for this assignment is how to add a layer, okay? And what I'll say about this is a lot of the programs that we've been working on so far um, have been good. Like, we've been working in uh, Spark and we've been working in uh, Canva, and those programs are good, but a lot of those things are, there's kind of less choices. There's things that are not as... Because PhotoP and these more advanced programs have uh, more options, they can be kind of hidden sometimes, all right? And so they're not hidden, like, hard to find, but you just might have to look for it a little bit. So as you do programs like this, think to yourself, all right? I want to add a new layer. Where would a new layer be, all right? So when you think through that, because there's also a lot of times there's multiple answers to that question. So, for example, on this one, uh, to make a new layer... I can either go, if I go up here at the top, I got a bunch of different options. There's file, edit, image, layer. Hey, might be there. Layer, new, layer. Hey, we found it, okay? So it's not hidden. There's just a lot of choices there. So you may not, there's not a big red button that only says create new layer or duplicate layer or something like that, okay? So um, layer, new, layer. And there it is, okay? And over here in our layer panel. Now, if we're also looking over in our layer panel, we say, okay, I'm trying to do something with the layers. Mm, might be over there in the layer panel. So go over here, and if you look down here at the bottom, there is, oh, wrong one, there is a little piece of paper with a folded corner. That will also give you a new layer. All right, so you've got layers, and I've got my paintbrush design here, okay? So here's what I want for this assignment. All of that stuff being said, I want uh, a design that is that has at least two layers. So one design that has at least two layers that has at least three colors and has uh, four different brushes. All right. So I could do something like this and I don't want to just have wavy lines in my design like what I had earlier demonstrating this. Make a picture, make something. Okay. Um, the example I gave, if you're stuck on it and you can't think of something, because to be honest with you, one of the hardest things as a designer is when you're staring at that white page and you just don't know how to start. Okay. And you're like, uh, okay, be creative. One, two, three, go. And it's your brain. Sometimes it's just hard to get things going. So when a lot of times I'll just start drawing things and kind of see where I go. All right. It's like uh, looking at clouds and you see, oh, that looks like a dragon. Oh, that looks like a, like a turtle, you know. All right. So start drawing stuff. See where it goes. All right. If you are stuck and have no idea what to do, then you can do one on the subject of uh, emojis. All right. Easy breezy. Okay, because even within emojis, because the purpose of this assignment, I also want to start seeing y'all's creativity. A lot of the photo piece stuff we've been doing so far has been very, we all do the same thing. And now I want to see, okay, here's a concept. Given these pieces, what can you make? All right, so you're going to have one assignment, one, one design. I want you to have at least two layers, at least three colors, and four different brush types. Okay, go back over here, pop up here. 
So first thing I need to do is get my paintbrush and I'm gonna get my paintbrush and I'll just do a smiley face because it's easy and generic and uh, I already said that you could do emojis. So I've got my yellow and I want a bigger paintbrush, all right? And I'm gonna start just making my really, really perfect looking face there, all right? And I could, I could switch out to a different brush if I want to, all right? Maybe go something a little bit smoother all right, I want to make that a little bit bigger. All right, if I wanted to have some kind of smoother lines there, okay? All right, and if I go outside the line there, that's no big deal. First off, I could leave it like that, okay? Maybe that's part of the design. Maybe that's how you want to do it. Or I can also paint back over that with white, all right? Now, here's the thing. Here's where another layer would be a good idea because if I had, um, if I go to my paintbrush now, Paintbrush, where are you? There we are. If I go to my paintbrush and I change the color to, let's do black, all right, and I just start doing my face, okay? And I go, well, that looks good, but you know what? I kind of want to change the mouth a little bit. I don't really like that. Hang on, and let me go back. Well, guess what? These pixels are all together. They are not separated at all. So making a new layer on this would help me. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I just did edit undo. Control Z is the shortcut. If you go up here to edit, then you have the option for step backward is what it's called here. All right. Um, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a new layer. And then I know that I'm drawing on this layer. All right. And I can go boom, boom. Okay. All right. And so now if I say, you know what? I don't really like where it's positioned. I want to move it around. I can go to my move tool and I can move it around. I can change the size of it, all right? All of those different options that exist that I can do because that is on a different layer. I might name this, okay? All right, and I could use, so one of the parts of the assignment was to do two layers, so I've got that fulfilled here, okay? The other part of the assignment was to do at least three colors, so I need another color here, right? Um, I could do another layer and let's move this layer to the bottom right and i just clicked and dragged it down let me zoom out here and i want to do my paintbrush tool where's my paintbrush tool there it is and go to let's do this one and let's do let's play with our opacity just a little bit so that makes it where it's not as transparent and let's make it where the color is uh that would look terrible Let's go for an orange. This will work. Okay. So as I'm painting here, nope, am I painting? Where's my painting? Oh, the brush is just super small. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, my background layer is white. That's what it is. Okay. That is not a fantastic example. Let's do it this way. Okay, so well, the problem that I'm having here, and I'm going to leave this in the video because a lot of times when you're doing designs, it's all about the problem and trying to find a solution. Okay, so the problem that I'm having here is the background layer that I had was not transparent. It was, it was white. And so I'm trying to color... And I really want that to be a standalone thing. So what I'm going to do, even though this is not part of the lesson, I'm going to go ahead and problem solve because I want you to see kind of the thought process and the problems you might run into. So um, my problem is this white is here, and I don't want that white to be there. So just like we've done in past videos, we're going to go to our quick select tool. We're going to make sure we're on the right layer. We're going to select the white, and I'm going to delete it. Nope, you selected too much. alt Okay, let's do it this way. I'll select that and then go to select inverse and delete that. There we go. Okay, so real quick what I did there was I selected, when I was selecting the white, the white and the yellow were too close to each other in color. And so when I selected it, it selected all of it. So then I was like, okay, fine, I'll select the yellow. And then when I did that, I selected the yellow and then I went to select and did the inverse. So it was... Now I have the white selected, okay? Kind of a couple of, couple of extra steps. I did it kind of fast because that's not actually a part of this lesson, but I wanted to include the problem solving that happened there, okay? So now I should be good. If I put this layer down here, there we go, okay? So I've got a third layer here, my paintbrush tool, and I am painting 
with this, okay? And if I wanted to, I could add another white layer there. And so when I do the opacity like this, as I'm adding to it, it makes, makes it thicker, okay? And I can do something like that. So this is three colors. Uh, I use three layers, but you could do less. You can, you can always do more, all right? So, but I used uh, a brush for the smile, a brush for the eyes, a brush for the background, okay? And guess what? The, 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 you don't have to change the style of the brush to get to your four brushes, all right? Because guess what? This brush, and we'll give him a, let's change the color to black again. Go back to my smile layer, okay? If I gave him a nose, which is weird, uh, my paintbrush tool, and... I don't know why you're not coloring in. Okay. All right. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, because I have that selected. There we go. That was it. All right. So the reason it wasn't painting there is because I still had a selection. If you saw those, those dotted lines around it, that's why it was not selecting. Okay. So I'm going to leave that in too because I'm just trying to show you guys the process. Because a lot of this, and this is what I was talking about with the where would I go to find a new layer, all right? A lot of this is problem solving and going, okay, I'm not quite sure where this is, what problem, why is it not doing this? Well, it's because you don't have the right layer selected. It's because you have a selection on there, so it's only gonna draw inside of where you have it selected, all right? So uh, not the most polished video, but to be honest with you, that's what it's like. A lot of it is, why won't it let me do this? Oh, because I'm saying this, all right? So when you learn how to speak, to the computer, um, and it's and it's and it's a language. It's a language, absolutely. Okay, so the computer was not messing up at all. That was one hundred percent me, just kind of user error or whatever. All right, so we'll leave that in and keep it keep it all honest here. All right, so what I was trying to show is that if I draw a dot like that, and if I do a larger dot, okay, that is two different brushes. That's a small dot and that's a bigger dot. Even though that's both a round uh, circle brush, okay, they're different sized brushes. All right, so this is the type of stuff that you can do. And I just did a generic smiley face. I want you to do, be creative, show, show off, make cool pictures of trees and turtles and I don't know, okay? All right, so make, make, make something awesome. Let me see what you can come up with, all right? Um, the, ran, this video ran a little long just because I'm doing some problem solving in here. Um, because that's part of this, all right? Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, so your assignment is one design with two layers, at least two layers, at least three colors, at least four different brushes, okay? Thanks.